Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Breast Cancer Physio. I'm your host, Jen McKenzie, lymphedema physiotherapist and ESSA accredited exercise physiologist. In this episode, I'm going to be talking to you about a really important topic, which is how do I know if I have lymphedema after breast cancer? Because with the advancements in medical technology, the most important part of the message in this video is that you may have early onset lymphedema without even having symptoms. And I'll explain what you can do about how to find out if you have lymphedema in this video. So if you do enjoy this content and you would like to see more, then please subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment in the section below if you have any questions on this video or any other topics around breast cancer. And I would like to start this video by saying a massive thank you to all of my followers. We cracked a thousand subscribers last week. So I really, really appreciate every comment, every like, that um, people are leaving because it really does help me make more of these videos. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into this video. How do I know if I have lymphedema after breast cancer? So what I want to first go over is the fact that there are cardinal classic signs of lymphedema. And one of my earliest videos was called Signs and Symptoms of Lymphedema. And I'll just leave a little tag in the corner here. So if you want to go and check that video out for more detail on signs and symptoms, you can go and check that one out. Now, let's just quickly go over what those five cardinal signs and symptoms are of lymphedema for a recap. So you have a feeling of heaviness or tightness in the limb and we're talking about the limb that is affected so meaning the limb that's had lymph nodes removed we are talking about pins and needles in the limb we're talking about a dull ache in the limb uh, and we're talking about a sensation or a um uh, noticeable signs of swelling in the limb. Now, you may not have all five at once, you might have one, you might have a couple, but they are your classic cardinal signs and symptoms of lymphedema starting in a limb. And as I mentioned, it's the limb that's had lymph nodes removed or radiated as well. So, what I am trying to emphasize in this video is the idea that you may have none of those signs or symptoms and you may still have what we call early onset lymphedema. Now, I just want to put a little caveat here, guys, and say I don't want this video to disturb people in the sense that they might be going, oh my God, now you're telling me I might have lymphedema and I don't even know it. That's um, the point of this video is to say that if you have no signs and symptoms of lymphedema, then the lymphedema you've got is very, very early, which ultimately means that if you get it diagnosed and treated as early as possible, you have the opportunity to potentially reverse that condition. So we do say these days that lymphedema at this point in time can't be cured, but we are certainly finding that with advancements in medical technology, and I'll introduce this device that's beside me as to how it plays a role in that reversal, um, we are certainly finding that certainly for acute periods we can resolve lymphedema. So that's our signs and symptoms. Now the other thing I should mention is that with medical technology advancements. Historically, what lymphedema therapists have relied on uh, partly for diagnostics is a tape measure for circumferential measures. So literally a good old tape measure as such. So the reason I don't tend to use a tape measure for diagnosing lymphedema is because of the medical technology we do have available today. So the problem I feel with tape measurements is that if say you've got a dominant right arm and that's the arm that you're at risk of lymphedema, then if you take just tape measurements to help diagnose lymphedema, you may not be taking into account the fact that that particular person may be very dominant on that side and they may have a lot more muscle mass as an example on their dominant arm. There may be people who have differences in fatty tissue levels between arms 
And then of course, we've also got this problem where there may be excess fluid, meaning lymphedema or swelling on one arm. So when we diagnose lymphedema, if, one, if, if a particular person has had lymph nodes removed just off one armpit, and they're at risk or they've been radiated under that armpit and they're just at risk of lymphedema on one side. We're classically trying to use the opposite arm to help as a control to diagnose this side. So um, I'll, we'll get on to in a different video um, what we call bilateral lymphedema risk, meaning if you've had lymph nodes um, removed or radiated on both armpits and you're at risk or you have lymphedema on both arms, we'll cover that topic in another video. But today I just want to focus mainly on what we call unilateral lymphedema, which is where you're at risk or you have lymphedema just on one upper limb. So the reason I don't like tape measures is because you are measuring essentially circumference, which doesn't take into account differences in fatty tissue and muscle. We are making an assumption that the differences are fluid differences when there's other tissues that are going to come into play in those measures. Now, there'll be a lot of lymphedema therapists that may disagree with me on this topic, but yeah, from everything I've done clinically, I don't tend to use the tape measure, but happy to be challenged on that one. So as I said before, early diagnosis is very important when it comes to managing or even trying to resolve early onset lymphedema. So I'll introduce this wonderful device I've got next to me now. This device is called an Impedimed Sozo and it uses the technology of bioimpedance spectroscopy. So this is the latest device that's been developed for this type of technology. Bioimpedance spectroscopy has been around for a number of years, but this is the latest device that we use for uh, monitoring and managing lymphedema. So I just wanna give a big shout out to um, the Impedimed med business development manager adam brown who's been absolutely instrumental in getting me trained and, and using the sozo on a regular basis and also tim brown those two people are not related surprisingly from regional healthcare group in australia both of these guys are australian so i just want to give a big shout out to both of these people for everything they've done to help me with this device so with the Sozo, this is a device that you can stand on for 30 seconds. It is pain-free and it will give you what we call an LDEX score. So a lot of people watching this video will may have heard of an LDEX score. LDEX stands for Lymphedema Index and it gives you a very quick uh, assessment as to whether there may be lymphedema starting or early lymphedema. Um, or not. So it, the other nice thing about this device is it also gives you a lot of reassurance because it can quickly tell you if you probably don't have lymphedema. So the only people that can't use this device are people with a pacemaker, people with a neurostimulator or people with a defibrillator. So please double check um, that if you're going to use this device therapist that your patients don't have any um, electrical devices in their in their system. Um, porter cats are fine. A lot of patients, when I tell them about you know what people are, in, are contraindicated to use this device, um, a porter cath is is not a problem, and a pick line is not a problem. So this device is fantastic because, as I said, it is a 30 second pain free test, and it will give you a very quick indication if there is any early onset lymphedema in your system or not. Now, the other thing to take into account is the fact that if you are following surgery uh, or if you're following radiation and you're getting this test done, we need to take into account as therapists that there may be fluid in your upper limb that is not lymphedema, okay? So this device measures fluid. It doesn't measure lymphedema or oedema, it measures fluid. And I must say it's very sensitive to fluid changes. The way this technology has been developed by Impedimed is that it is very sensitive to fluid changes, meaning it can pick up a couple of tablespoons of difference between limbs. So if you are using this device and you're say 
two to four weeks following your breast surgery or you're a couple of weeks following radiation, therapists should take into account the fact that if you've got a slightly high reading, it may be post-treatment oedema, which is the technical word for broad swelling. So if that happens, it doesn't necessarily mean we would say or discount that score. And I certainly make sure that I am measuring my patients regularly throughout, say, radiation, because I find that lymphedema is most likely triggered during or just after radiation. So I do keep a very close eye on my patients with the Sozo LDEX measures during and after radiation. By regular, I mean I will take a reading at one point, sort of somewhere in the middle of radiation, and then typically one to two weeks after radiation. Now, if someone has a high LDEX reading suggestive of lymphedema, then it's not necessarily a reason to panic. It's more a reason that we're going to monitor this patient a little bit more closely because as I said, it could be post-treatment swelling as opposed to lymphedema. But there are a lot of people who get absolutely no increased swelling. So I believe that to catch every possible person who might get lymphedema, the more monitoring you're able to do in your clinic or in a hospital, the better. It's not always feasible, but I think if there are protocols by which we can advocate patients to be tested during and at least after radiation and then also two to four weeks after surgery as set points by which we are going, okay, where's this patient at? Do they have raised fluid levels or not? And if they don't, fantastic. They can have a little bit more time uh, after um, their treatment is finishing to come back and get another LDEX score. But if they do have slightly increased levels, suggesting maybe there's a little bit of lymphedema starting here, we monitor them again. There's plenty of examples by which um, patients will come in and they've got a slightly raised LDEX score, which suggests either oedema or lymphedema. And I will say to them, right, we'll check you again in a couple of weeks time. Now, sometimes that patient will drop down naturally. So we haven't done any treatment techniques. We haven't done self-lymphatic drainage massage. We haven't got them in a compression sleeve and their, their level, their LDEX level is what I'm trying to say, will naturally drop, which suggests it was just some post-operative swelling. However, there are also patients where their level will stay the same or it will start to go up, which is very indicative of early onset lymphedema. And that's the point at which we are starting to intervene as therapists and do things like prescribe compression garments and teach people self-lymphatic drainage massage and skin care. So that's where I am finding that I'm getting a lot of really good results in the sense that I can reverse probably 95 plus percent of my patients who get early onset lymphedema because we're intervening at such an early point that they might have their compression garment on for four weeks to eight weeks as a maximum uh, and they're doing their self-lymphatic drainage during that period, but ultimately we are getting their LDEX scores back to normal ranges, so away from what we consider uh, lymphedema high scores back into normal ranges so they can start to wean off their sleeve and stop doing their self-lymphatic drainage massage. So really the take home message from this video guys is that if you are not sure if you have any early onset lymphedema or not, see if you can access bioimpedance spectroscopy technology. Obviously people in remote and rural areas may not have access to this device, but if you're going into city centers or regional centers where you're getting breast cancer treatment done, then your medical team may be able to link you up with a lymphedema therapist who has this device. I also should mention that there is an earlier model called a U400, which is a device in which you lie down flat and they place electrodes on your limbs and they can get a similar reading for um, LDEX scores. So consider the U400 as a backup, but also the Sozo. So push your medical teams to find out which practitioners that you can get access to have this technology. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you've gained some great information about 
how do I know if I have lymphedema after breast cancer? If you have any questions on this video, then please leave a comment in the section below. I'm definitely going to follow this video up with how we use the Sozo and how to interpret more LDEX scores, because this is definitely part of the way of the future towards resolving and monitoring for lymphedema. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great week wherever you are. I will see you here next Tuesday again with another video. I'm Jen McKenzie, the breast cancer physio. I'll see you next time.